working together toward your financial goals. That's a win in our playbook. Union Bank and Trust. Equal housing lender member FDIC. Nutrition Authority invites you to save 35 to 75% off at the Spring Mega Sale. We're taking our better than internet prices and cutting them even deeper, bringing you the biggest sale of the season. Monday, April 15th through Saturday, April 20th, the Spring Mega Sale is on at Nutrition Authority. For location information, check us out at MyNutritionAuthority.com. Problem gambling can destroy an individual's finances, relationships, physical, and mental health. If you are a loved one or struggling with addiction, contact Choices Treatment Center's 24-hour helpline at 402-476-2300. That's 402-476-2300. Working at Continental in Lincoln isn't a job, it's a career. And right now, they've raised wages again, and they're hiring for production operators at $24.62 per hour, which grows to $28.97 per hour within three years. Skilled trade positions now start at $33.36 per hour with opportunities to make more based on certifications. Continental also has salary jobs available and great benefits plus medical and prescription costs at very low premiums. Dental, vision, and life insurance are offered at no premium cost to the associates with increased bonuses and vacation for new hires. To learn more or apply, go to ContinentalJobs.com with keyword Lincoln. Come work at Continental today. Here you go. Coffee's on me and my new BFF. I thought I was your best friend forever. BFF like best financial friend at Members Own Credit Union. Right now, they're offering $100 when you consolidate or transfer a loan or an existing credit card balance and meet requirements. Plus, you get great rates and free advice from a financial partner that will put you first. That sounds like a match made in heaven. Members Own Credit Union is the type of bestie you can count on. Get started today at memberszonecu.org slash BFF. Limitations may apply. Equal housing opportunity. When you were a kid, clubs were cool. Robotics club and space club and stuff like that. But what do adults get? Book clubs and quilting clubs? Nah, forget that. How about margarita clubs and old-fashioned clubs? Get to Upside Bar and Lounge for the best clubs in town. Try all 10 varieties of Upside margaritas or old fashions and take home a free souvenir glass. Grab the whole crew and pair it with Taco Night on Mondays or Whiskey Wednesdays. Upside Bar and Lounge at 29th and Pine Lake. Your child was embarrassed when you arrived at their basketball game. 75% of parents or guardians report current alcohol use. Drinking alcohol can cause harm to children and loved ones. By drinking less, your child will be excited to see you at their basketball game. If you or a loved one is looking for help, find a treatment facility near you at findtreatment.gov. For immediate support, call, text, or chat 988. Brought to you by Nebraska DHHS in partnership with SAMHSA. In every office, there's two types of people. There are those who bring in bagels and those who eat the bagels that someone else brought in. Everybody likes the first person. Be that first person. Weekday mornings at 7.30, you have a chance to win a business box of bagels from Bagels and Joe. All you have to do is shut up simple. Two questions for you, two for sip. Win and the bagels are yours. Lose, well, you don't want to lose. You lost Monday, you lost Wednesday, you're a loser. Shut up, simple. Weekday mornings at 7.30, brought to you by Bagels and Joe. Early break with Sip and Jake. I called, you didn't return the call. Uh, called yeah. a couple times yesterday, no, nothing. Uh, I, but I did trick it. Hold it. I called first Crickets. and then I got this, I don't know, worse <laughs> Sip was if you're in the bathroom. I get the he goes, he has to go, goes, Hey, hang tight. I'm writing right now. <laughs> and I don't know. I'm like, well, why are you whispering to me? He said it just like that. Hey, uh, sit tight on that one. I'm uh, I'm writing right now. And I'm like, what is he doing? Can you is he in the us, bathroom or what? Where are you, you at? Give us the, the scoop where, of what happened. Yeah, there, where sip. were you when I called you? Because I did call you back. Hang tight. Kind of hang tight. I'm, I'm right here. Early break with Sip and Jake from 6 to 8 every weekday morning on 93.7 The Ticket. This is the happy hour. You guys are on the happy hour? Coming at you live from the heart of Lincoln, America. Yeah, I'll maybe I'll go for a couple. Here are your hosts, Nick Sainert. I am a huge guy. And Enrique Alvarez Clary. C is for chunk. <laughs> Brought to you by Empire Fence and Netting on 937 the ticket and the ticketfm.com. Welcome in to the happy hour, 93.7 The Ticket, theticketfm.com. Nick Sainert and Rico with you as usual. Hello, Rico. Yeah, there. How was the day? Great, so Good. far. Good. How was the storm last night? Did not keep me up. I woke up at about 4.15 is when my alarm went off. Uh-huh. And I could see through my blinds in my room, lightning. Okay. I saw some pretty cool 
cool videos of lightning. It was pretty, I, as I was driving into work as well this morning. You were watching videos? I was not watching videos. I was watching the Nicholas. lightning around around the city oh, Okay, in, in real time. But, I mean, yeah, it was cool. I, I, I like thunderstorms. I don't like the hail that comes along with it like it did last night. Not, not entirely sure if Lincoln got a ton of hail. Let us know on the text line, 464-5685. Let us know on the text line whether or not you noticed hail, whether we got hail. Um, I know they talked initially about golf ball size, but then it seemed like it increased to potentially tennis ball size, which is an insanely large size. That's too big. Um, worried about cars, worried about vehicles. Uh, I got a garage. I'm good. Y- you do. I I do not. You do, uh, just not for your car. Yeah, yeah, not for my car. Um, yeah, but now we're good. We're good. The car, car survived. So today... Rico, you told me we're supposed to get more storms in the afternoon. See, I was told that by the text line. We were talking baseball earlier, and everybody kept saying, oh, it's supposed to storm yeah. again today. And I was like, oh, well, that's interesting. And it looks like it is supposed to start raining uh, yes. around 4 p.m., about a 20% uh, chance of rain. I'm not reading anywhere where it's hail, though. No. It, it just still, seems really windy. It rain, not great for baseball yeah, which is what's going to happen today in Lincoln, hopefully, if the weather holds up. Yeah, so so today it says, I mean, high of 73, rain showers along with windy conditions. Uh, chance of rain, 40%, not even over half. Ch- I mean, there's, we'll see what happens. Um, Still. And, and then winds could occasionally gust over 40 miles per hour. If I gave you 10 jelly beans and said four of these are poisonous, would you take a chance and eat a jelly bean? <laughs> that is an incredible comparison. I'm just saying 40% is a lot. <laughs> but it's not half. It's not. <laughs> but even then, if it's 20%, if I give you oh, 10 jelly beans man. and say two of these jelly beans, 402, 464, 5685. Oh. I heard this. I read this somewhere. So it, it, this it, isn't it have to coming be your, up with it. It would have to be your favorite food. Jo- okay. If I give you, what's your favorite food? It, it, just, just in general. Ta- it, it, tacos? Well, yeah, but I don't think I'd, I'd eat 10 tacos. Well, you're not. No, you just need to eat one. If I gave Ooh. you 10 tacos and said three of these are poisonous, would you eat a taco? Is there an antidote? No. Well, there's a 30% chance that you die. <laughs> there's a 30% chance that I, okay. There's a, there's a 70% chance that you eat a good taco, but there's a 30% chance that you die. You this, gonna is, eat it? this is tough. You going to eat a taco? I, I, yeah, I, I probably would. I'd probably gamble a little bit. All right. I'm just saying. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I, I wouldn't. That is crazy. Uh, unnamed texture says we just had marble size hail and sewer. That's not too bad. That's Eric. Scary. Eric reminds you that uh, rain is good for the crops. Oh, Rico. No, tr- no, trust me. I know. Um, Remember, father-in-law farm. Yep, farmer. Yep. He, I know. He, these, I know these things. He's got but, a farmer. But, that's a farmer. But also, father-in-law. Too much rain. Not good. Um. See. Okay. Jr. Makes a good point. He says, "Yeah, but I'm not going to die if it starts raining." You're going to die if you eat a poisonous taco. Yeah, but or a jelly but, bean. But there's a 30% chance that it rains and it, you know, postpones, mm-hmm. potentially cancels the baseball game. Hopefully postpones so because I think that, Nebraska that's wants. I, but that's what I'm getting at. Like 30, like 30% is a lot. You, you, you have to also worry about like, uh, all right, an accurate representation or an accurate comparison would be, does the poison only affect certain types of bodies, right? And the reason no, I say it that, affects hold up. No, because the rain will affect. Uh-huh. All no, baseball fields differently. Okay. The rain at Densmore out by the Cooper YMCA going to be, it's going to look like the Atlantic Ocean. Okay. <laughs> at, at Haymarket Park, <laughs> at Haymarket Park, it's going to be perfectly fine. They're going to say, all right, let's just throw some, they'll throw some of the, the other special art, you know, dirt on there. We'll, we'll rake it. We'll, we'll get it all figured out. We'll take care of it. And we're going to postpone first pitch by 30 minutes, but then let's play ball. If you're walking down the street, I tell you, if you're walking hey. down the street <laughs> and they're there, I'm going to say 10 guys are going to walk past you. Hold on. Hold on. We might be three, going of, them too are, far. three of them are going to punch you in the face. <laughs> you still walking down that street? Yeah, because I'm going to I'm going to no, that's three judging. of them are going to punch you in the face. I don't know, man. You don't know when his, it could his, be three in a row. His, his it could Obert, be the first one, the middle one and the last one. So Bear points out hurts. Nobody, nobody. helps everybody. <laughs> I I am pumped about it's good for the economy. <laughs> hurts no one. Helps, helps everybody. everybody. <laughs> oh, 
thank you, Hizzle Bear, for that. Uh, as we have pointed out, 402-464-5685, the Honda of Lincoln Hotline and the Sarder Heyman text line open for you guys the entire show today, as well as the Sarder Heyman Jewelers live video stream, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and Allo Channel 961. All avenues for you guys to get in touch with the program today. Good stuff on the horizon. We're going to talk a little WNBA draft because... I found myself, and I'll be I'll be 100% honest, more interested in last night's WNBA draft than I've ever been interested in one before. Maybe, I, I think it talks, it speaks to the evolution of the sport. Evolution of the sport, it mm-hmm. helps that there was a Nebraska player that, that was, obviously, her name was involved in it. And, and But I think it speaks to the evolution of the sport. So we'll talk about that for a brief moment. But then we do have baseball. As of right now, we're expected to have now. Ne- Nebraska baseball Unless uh, Nebraska baseball eats those jelly beans, I three, guess. Uh, three poisonous so, jelly beans. I'm just saying. Take out the whole Nebraska baseball team. I'm just team. saying. <laughs> but nonetheless. They got 10. There's only three. There's uh, a chance. So, so Action Jackson makes a good point. Says, you have, this feels like a, a tip jar type of question. You only have to eat one taco, but 30% of the tacos are either poisonous or they are not. And you get a million dollars. So, 30% of the tacos, three out of 10, three out of 10. are poisonous. Yep. The other seven come with a million dollars. Am I eating? He goes, are you eating the taco, Nick? They say money can't buy happiness. But I haven't seen anybody crying in <laughs> but, a Corvette. But hey, hey, and nobody's mad when the car's paid off. Nobody's mad when student loans are paid off. Hey, when's the last time you saw somebody on a jet ski with a sad <laughs> face? I'm just saying. <laughs> well, when they tip over. No, they're still they're happy. Still happy. They're still happy. Because guess what? Because guess what? You just fell off a jet ski. <laughs> you can get right back on. Um, oh, I, I think you have to eat the taco. What's life without a little risk? Life. <laughs> it is life. <laughs> You're still alive. <laughs> Helps everybody. <laughs> Hurts nobody. No, Eric, uh, we are not on hippie lettuce. Um, we got latex mallard from MySpace says, I'm eating all 10 tacos. YOLO, give me the poison margaritas uh, also. Um, Bye, MySpace man. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> stop, MySpace stop. man. Uh, let's Kizzle move on. MySpace let's, man need to stop it. Let's, How dare let's, you? Let's move yeah, on let's go. to the WNBA draft. Uh, surprise, Caitlin Clark drafted first overall last night. How um, hilarious would it have been? <laughs> They were like, actually. they they went into it <laughs> with just their mind dead set, and it would have even been better because. They've been selling all these tickets. Yep. They had tons of fans in the in, in the arena back in Indy. Yep. Of like, they're expecting Caitlin Clark. And not that Vegas you know, moved Cameron, their game against Indiana yes. to the T Mobile Center. The Phoenix Mercury were already, you know, saying that their first game against the the Indiana Fever was going to be the goat versus the rook and yeah. the silhouette of a number 22, like all of these things. And then Indiana's like, actually, we like Cameron Brink better. Which which wouldn't be bad. For for the Indiana Fever, it would have been nuts, but the reaction would have been hilarious. Oh my goodness! But nonetheless, Had the chance to do the funniest they, thing ever. They get Caitlin Clark; she gets drafted number one overall. Uh, a lot of people also making a big deal about salary. I feel like we just have to say this just to um just to just to say it. There, there's sponsorships, there's endorsement deals. Sure, uh, is the WNBA underpaid? Probably, yeah. I would assume so. I think fans can affect that. <clears throat> if you're if you're one of those keyboard warriors that's mad about WNBA salary, I think you could just consume the product and you could help out with that a little bit. Um, I, I think also when when it comes to you know the top uh, probably ten players in last night's draft, uh, certainly players like Angel Reese and certainly players like uh, Camila Cador, Cador, excuse me Cardoso. Cardoso. Um, they have so many endorsement deals and and basically professional NIL now that they're going to be just fine. They're going to be just fine. Now, the salary piece, yeah, probably could do a little bit more, especially when you see, all right, the NFL draft that's about to take place next Thursday. Grayson Allen just fi- signed for like $15 yeah. million. Dollars. Well, it was it was funny because like Rudy Gobert for doing the money sign is fined a hundred grand and Caitlin Clark's initial salary is like 76. Yeah. So, I, I, like, yeah, right. We're talking about equal pay and all that stuff. Like, yeah, probably there's strides to be made. Um, but the it's not like Caitlin is, Clark is going to be suffering in the on the endorsement front. Yeah, no, she's going to be fine considering all of the endorsements she she built up from what she did at Iowa. Um, she'll still be making all of that money on top of yeah. the salary. Yeah, it's that a she's, continuation on top of the salary that she's getting from Indiana. But the the way that 
things like that can change and that you can see, you know, larger contracts and bigger salaries in the WNBA is by people watching the product, buying the jerseys, and going to the games and by the WNBA making deals, which I think they did with um, TV with, with uh, to get their product on TV and getting a share of the money from you know the viewership, the viewing audience. Yeah. That's that's why the NFL and the NBA, that's why those contracts are so large, is because they get so much money from Bingo. the TV, from TV, um, that they're able to pay all of these athletes. So once the WNBA is able to do that, whenever that is, yeah. which I, I believe that they did, I'm not hundred percent sure on that. I'll have to look that up, but that's when you'll see player salaries go up. And that's a part of the reason why, you know, I was talking earlier on the drive how, you know, last year's draft, 15 of the 34. 36 players drafted were on rosters at the beginning of the season. Only 15. Mm. So a problem with that is, first off, they can, they're only allowed 12 players on a roster, yes. right? And there's only however many teams in the WNBA. They're already talking expansion. Um, they're going to add. Um, they were talking about Kansas City. Uh, I think there, there's like two Texas squad, uh, Orlando or or something somewhere down in Florida. There's like four four cities that they were talking about expanding to in the next coming years, which will help the WNBA in keeping a lot of these players because there's there's so much talent in women's basketball, but there's not enough teams right now for that talent to stay. And there's also the salary cap, which yeah. is causing teams to have to cut players, which so you're allowed 12 players on a roster, right? Mm -hmm. Well, Las Vegas, who has, you know, four stars on their roster, I don't even think they carry 12. They might carry 10 or 11. Mm -hmm. So that's well, another part of it. We so I mean, one of the another team that you you is going to come to the WNBA in 2025 is Golden State. Golden yes. State is getting a, WN, a WNBA team as well. Um, so I, it, it might be tough for for people in Nebraska, I guess, because there isn't a WNBA team close. The closest one's probably Minnesota or Chicago. Um, which Chicago made a couple of really interesting picks last night with Cardoso and Cardoza and uh, and, and Angel, Angel Reese. They're going to add. I mean, I mean talking yeah. Denver and Kansas City. So so yeah, potentially. So you're going to have teams that are closer. Um, so, yeah, I guess consume the product and, and view it a similar way as you view like Omaha Supernova's volleyball. I, I think you can do that. It, we've shown that um, not to be cliche, it's the whole like build it, they'll come type of thought process. And and, and WNBA is hopefully making some strides. Um, and and a lot of that is out of maybe the consumer's hands because to Rico's point, you got to make deals. You got to have TV deals. You have to have uh, splits and you need viewership numbers and and, and things like that. Um, all, all kind of things are are going on behind the scenes and out of like our hands to just say, yeah, let me turn on the channel and this is how I'm helping. Like, yeah, we can do that, but there's a lot of other stuff going on that mm -hmm. that is out of our control. So, um, Jazz Shelley, I mean, it, it, it's so exciting to see her get drafted, 29th overall. I hope she makes um, the team. She got she, so so Phoenix actually traded that pick with the Chicago Sky. So. The Chicago Sky had that pick at 29th overall, which is technically the third round. Uh, traded that selection to the Phoenix, uh, Phoenix Mercury, Mercury and uh, Jazz Shelley got drafted with that pick by the Phoenix Mercury. So really exciting for for Jazz because she did so many good things at Nebraska on and off the floor. She was here for what was it three seasons? Mm -hmm. um, she had an opportunity. Like don't forget, so a big part of of maybe when she came to Nebraska was because of of fellow Australians or Aussies, you know, of Izzy Bourne and Ruby Porter at the time. And, and, and now she leaves after they left early. They left, they could have returned Ruby and, and Izzy. They elected to go overseas and play back in Australia. Mm -hmm. And she was kind of seen as then the leader. She is the leader of that team. And she she handled it well and and ultimately got the win against Iowa, which is probably one of one of her, you know, career achievements, I would say, Took uh, in a Nebraska in uniform game. That's the thing. And so I, I think it's it's just really exciting to see Jazz. Um, and in the few conversations, she's such a a fun person to just have a simple conversation with. And, and we're hoping to potentially get to get Jazz on on the on the show uh, sometime in the near future here before she goes and, and starts her WNBA career. So good stuff there for jazz Shelley as she got selected 29th overall uh which was essentially essentially the uh, third round in first, the in the WNBA draft first player selected directly out of Nebraska since Jordan Hooper I believe yeah because yeah. there have been some players who played at Nebraska who ended up going somewhere else who ended up getting selected but out I, of, Jessica out of Nebraska yeah out of Nebraska first player since Hooper 
Yep, there you go. All right, that is it for uh, WNBA. Let's go ahead and uh, step aside. When we return... Shout out to the Aces. When we return, let's uh, talk Husker baseball because they get ready for the Creighton Blue Jays tonight. Supposed to be at uh, Haymarket Park. We did get a text just a moment ago from 3994. says, it's raining with five exclamation points. I hope it's not. Uh, hope, make sure your windows are up in your vehicle. It doesn't um, look like it is. I don't know. Uh, no, it is. Look at the curb. Is it? Look at the curb. There's drops. Oh, no. We got raindrops. Uh, let me know if there's hail at any point. Um, I think we'd hear that or see that. Yeah, I hope so. And hail is terrifying. Uh, car dealerships, uh, the, the smartest investment that they can ever make. Oh, no. 0996 says it's, it's hailing, hailing at my house. Dude, hail is scary because it's just like chunks of ice are just fall like it's just falling from the sky. Like, like if it's big enough and it hits you, this like, is crazy, bro. It's All like right, a, well, it's like we'll, a poison we'll, jelly. We'll worry about it. We'll <laughs> full circle moment. Here Not we go. Um, it says that it's hailing in my house. Thanks a lot, guys. Um, you're welcome. Let, let, let us know actually if it truly is hailing. Send us a picture. That's important to know. Uh, Nebraska baseball though gets ready for Creighton tonight. We'll talk about that when we return. Follow Nick and Enrique on Twitter at Nick underscore Sainert and at Radio Rico AC. More of Happy Hour is next on 937 The Ticket and the Ticketfm.com. Your sprinklers are watering the street or flooding your backyard. If you're on a list that doesn't exist, it's time for Judson Irrigation. At Judson Irrigation, Lee or Lacey or Judson will make an appointment. You pick the time and they'll be there to fix your sprinkler system. Now that's service, a dying art these days. Keep summer green. Call Judson Irrigation, 402-420-6277 or judsonirrigation.com. At Southeast Community College, community is our middle name. Our continuing education classes offer personal interest, traffic safety and licensing, online learning, and adult education classes across Southeast Nebraska or online in your own home. Learn pottery or floral design. Take a computer course. Learn Spanish. How to start writing a book or Air Fryer 101. See the full schedule of continuing education classes online at southeast.edu slash continuing. SCC, your path to possible. Whether you're looking for a place to stay for a concert at PBA, a Nebraska home game, or just a night on the town, the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket is the place for you. Enjoy an evening at one of many restaurants or bars within a short walking distance. Business travelers at the hotel will enjoy free high-speed internet access, a 24-hour business center, and large in-room workstations. And check out the Bistro, where you'll enjoy healthier food and beverage options, as well as high-tech conveniences. Book your room today at the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket. Spring often marks the beginning of severe weather, which can lead to power outages. LES wants you to be prepared before the storm. Restock your emergency kit, update your info with LES, and if you encounter an outage, report it at LES.com slash report. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox, KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. The Lincoln forecast for today, expecting showers and storms throughout the day, and it will be windy too. See a high around 76. Tonight, a chance of showers and storms with more wind in the forecast and a low near 50. And tomorrow, we'll see decreasing clouds throughout the day. It'll be breezy but mild to high around 72. The meteorologist Kyle Tucker for 93.7 The Ticket and the ticketfm.com. Empower a child today with a teammate's mentoring program. Hope is only a conversation away when you choose to share your talent, time, and heart with a child. Together, you can build a relationship based on strengths and chart a brighter future one week at a time. Find out how you can be a mentor by visiting LincolnTeammates.org. Become what you needed as a kid by joining the teammate's mentoring program today. Lincoln. You wanted more sweet and spice in your life, and now you've got it. At Wings and Rings, their brand new hot honey has all of Lincoln buzzing. Try their one-of-a-kind house-made sauce on the brand new hot honey chicken sandwich or their hot honey shrimp and slaw. And of course you can get it on the traditional, boneless, or smoked wings that have made Wings and Rings your go-to neighborhood spot. Hot honey was supposed to be gone on April 1st, but they're extending it indefinitely. So stop by Wings and Rings at one of their two Lincoln locations today on O Street and on Village Lane. For over 15 years, Integrated Life Choices has empowered individuals with disabilities in Lincoln and throughout Nebraska. They provide comprehensive services from group homes and independent living services to job training, ensuring fulfilling lives for those that they serve. Now, they're inviting you to join their mission. 
If you are passionate about making a difference in the lives of people with developmental disabilities, explore rewarding career opportunities with them. Learn more about their services and apply today at www.ilc.net. Be a part of Integrated Life Choices, where your work truly changes lives. When you were a kid, clubs were cool. Robotics club and space club and stuff like that. But what do adults get? Book clubs and quilting clubs? Nah, forget that. How about margarita clubs and old-fashioned clubs? Get to Upside Bar and Lounge for the best clubs in town. Try all 10 varieties of Upside margaritas or old fashions and take home a free souvenir glass. Grab the whole crew and pair it with Taco Night on Mondays or Whiskey Wednesdays. Upside Bar and Lounge at 29th and Pine Lake. The captain for Sean Jackson. Mike Minner. What's up, bro? When you look at Dylan, you looking at quarterbacks that kind of come around once every 20 years. And this is a kid I'm looking at, I don't know how old he is, 17, 18 years old. And he is already directing things that a 17, 18 year old kid should not even know. Changing the line, protecting. Okay, guys, I don't know where we've been two weeks of practice. Come on, man. Well, we got guys in the National Football League that can't do that. You're listening to the Happy Hour with Nick Sainert. I'm leaving you people. Then huh? Enrique Alvarez Clare. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? Huh? Sponsored by Empire Fence and Netting on 937 the ticket and the ticketfm.com. Before we get to Nebraska baseball, a little bit of uh, college basketball news as a uh, top transfer from Arizona, Omar Balo, a 6'10", 245-pound center, has announced his commitment to Indiana. And you want to know what kind of day and age we are in? Mike Woodson, baby. Well, Mike Woodson, but also... Shout out to Mr. Potato Head. Indiana fans yep. were Venmoing... Omar Balo, what money today? Is that legal for for drinks? And one of them specifically said on the Venmo payment, which is similar for the folks that like PayPal or Cash App better. It said, "Drinks on Hoosier Nation like this if we get in that commitment." Did he like it? He did not like it, but he did. But they it. got the commitment. Is that legal? Like, can can you do that? Like, if he accepts those. But then he does like I think as long as you I, I would imagine that you just have to disclose it. It's that whole like, we just got to disclose it because what's different if if I'm I just, I'm just saying I haven't heard any Nebraska fans doing that. I just <laughs> I don't know. Are you saying Indiana fans are better than Nebraska? fans? I, look, I, did, I didn't say that. I didn't say, I didn't say I didn't say it. I did not. Say what what, what, hey, is, what, hey, is, what hey, did Stephen A. Smith say? Hey. I didn't say it, but I I'm not wrong. I didn't say it, but I didn't. Not say it. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I there just Nebraska. I haven't heard any Nebraska fans Venmo in any players hey. that they want out of the transfer portal. Well, because as you heard Matt Davison on early break this morning, just go to 1890nebraska.com. Become a member today. I feel like one of these is more direct. <laughs> one of them <laughs> certainly is more direct. Uh, I, I'm not I, saying I, not go to 1890. <laughs> I'm just saying one of these is extremely direct. <laughs> That is that is incredible. So Indiana with a a pretty good uh, pickup there. They have uh, gotten two pretty or excuse me, uh, yeah, two really uh, talented transfers. One of the the other one was six two point guard Miles Rice from Washington State. Um, them and Ohio State. How about Ohio State? And uh, that work and uh, their their new head coach who I have a completely Jake um, Jake. Don't oh, worry, I got you. Give me a second. It's a Jake. Not I. I, I want to say Jake Diekman, but it's not the the pitcher from Nebraska. Hmm. Uh, Jake. Oh, it is Jake Diebler. 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 Jake Diebler. Diebler. Jake Diebler. So, um, they're they're racking in the the commits as well, and some ta- talented guys. They just got a Kentucky guy uh, a couple of days wow. ago, maybe a couple, maybe a couple hours ago, potentially. He was a video coordinator with the program from 2014 to 2016. Like and Jake then Diebler. returned as an assistant coach prior to the nineteen twenty season. Um, you know who that reminds me of? Aaron Bradshaw was the Kentucky guy, former five star out of the out of high school, freshman, three years, seven feet one inch, two hundred ten pounds. That's a tall kid, like Kellel Ware. Kellel, just bigger, same height. What would it be bigger. like to be seven foot one? 
I, I've wondered that. That's too tall, right? I've wondered that. Yeah, I, I think, like, I think there is, is such a thing as too tall. What is the perfect height? Yeah. I don't know. We should ask uh we should ask Raph at some like, point. Like I feel too. like I feel like six six two, six three. Yeah. I feel good. like that's solid. Rico, as as fellow short kings, we, we could really I mean, honestly, if I could get like if I could get to five ten, I'd be golden. Yeah. That's where I'm at. I'd be good. Be good with that. Yeah, but here here's the issue, and, and this is with short people, is that you get a little stumpier, and so you, instead of growing vertical, you grow horizontal. Mm-hmm. I need to um, stop growing horizontal. I, I agree. We had this conversation earlier today. <laughs> That's what's to, tough. Shout it's, out to Amon you, for the you, workout. Plan. You know, you know what I would say? I, I've said this before is that if I was, you know, six foot three, I wouldn't look as large. But it's got all this weight that's got to compress into mm-hmm. my short body. If I was six foot, <laughs> it has no, nowhere to go. Golden. It has nowhere to go. Six foot 190. Uh, anyway, I'm um, sitting here at five, five, <laughs> 190, which is not ideal. Which part, the five five or the one ninety? Either one of them. Both of them. <laughs> Hizzle Bear says at six seven, I am asked about every day about my height. Um, Raph, too tall. I would assume is is in that similar category. Too tall. I'm sorry. Yeah, Raph. Sorry, too tall. Hizzle Bear. Raph's just a large, large human. This is a very big guy. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. Let's talk Husker baseball. Uh. That uh. Nebraska baseball gets ready to face off against the Creighton Blue Jays tonight. We know it from two weeks ago. Nebraska lost. To the Blue Jays, really disappointing performance that day. Not Just great, could not manufacture runs, could not get them across the plate, which is part of the baseball game. Um, what? April 6th, or excuse me, 602 first pitch tonight. Uh, it's going to be broadcasted on Nebraska Public Media or Big Ten Plus for you subscribers out there. Nebraska is going to start Caleb Clark on the mound. Had a little bit of a tough year so far. Uh, ERA is not great for the left-handed pitcher Caleb Clark 9.90 earned run average uh, he'll be fe- facing off against Southpaw Eli Neeson 2 and 1 on the year for Neeson 1.66 earned run average um these are so, very different pitchers <laughs> a little bit and Caleb Clark I believe if I remember correctly um was the first pitcher out of the bullpen against Creighton 2 weeks ago up at Charles Schwab Field struggled Struggled on that one as well. So, so his third start this season. Caleb Clark, 0 and 0 on the year, has not got, does not have a decision, but okay. has a 9.90 ERA. Um, Maybe lower that. We bit. saw so once again sophomore Caleb Clark set to toe the rubber, um, 9.9, including two starts. As Rico said, it's his third start. Sophomore struck out three in an inning at Rutgers on Saturday to move his strikeout total to just 11 batters across 10 innings. A um, little bit of positive news was that Nebraska had another accolade given to a pitcher over the weekend. Uh, Mason McConaughey, who's a sophomore, new addition to the roster this year, was named the Big Ten's Pitcher of the Week. Um, uh, he was announced on Monday afternoon. McConaughey now 4-2 and two on the season after shutting out the Big Ten's top op- offense in the Rutgers Scarlet Knights across his seven innings of work over the weekend. Sophomore matches career high with nine Ks and worked around six singles, allowing just one Rutgers base runner to reach third base. With the seven shutout innings, McConaughey picked up his second quality start of the season. It also marked Nebraska's second consecutive weekly accolade after Brett Sears earned the recognition last week. So just keep getting pitcher of the week, because that means you won at least one Yeah, I I think to an extent, but also as we saw over the weekend, um, Nebraska, man, the the, the pitching, got to figure it out. The bullpen needs to figure it out. but Nebraska's had a couple of guys step up at the plate. Ben Columbus has been really, really good as of late. Dylan Carey starting to starting to get a little bit more of offensive production going, um, especially in the last 10 games. Um, in the Huskers' last 10 games, Dylan Carey hitting 325 mm. at the plate with, a, with three home runs. Um, ben Columbus is uh, currently 6 for 13 in Nebraska's last 10 games with two home runs and eight RBIs. Um, so that's, I mean... Ben Columbus and, and Dylan Carey certainly parts that uh, Nebraska needs. Josh Karen still playing or hitting well at the at the at the dish. Uh, Three hundred two at the plate, seven doubles, a triple, six home runs, and a team high thirty eight RBIs driven in uh, this season for the Huskers. So Nebraska, it's it's that bullpen man. Got to figure out a way. Whether it's KP, whether it's Casey Dice, whether it's um, even a guy starting a game tonight, and and Caleb Clark. Got to figure out a way uh, to. Um, yes, 
got to figure out a way to, to manufacture and get runs across the plate. You got to have some trust for some people coming out of the bullpen. Once your, once your starter goes out, you can't sit there and think, all right, well, now we got to go to the bullpen and you gotta, you're going to sit there and be like, all right, how many runs are we going to give up? How much run support do we have to offer them? You got to have somebody in that bullpen that you could turn to and say, we, you, we are going to get, two innings out of you you just you need it like so tonight like this is this is one of the things it's like have have somewhat of a of a goal if you're caleb clark all right maybe you struggled a little bit now now saturday you had a, a quality inning a quality performance so now let's let's stack those reps right let's mm-hmm. stack either that type of pitching performance or all right let's let's scratch the slate clean and say okay what what is a positive outcome of today three strong innings maybe allow less than two hits and obviously no runs with that. Mm -hmm. Right. Or it's also, you can adjust that on the fly. Let's, let's mitigate the damage, right? Whether that's allowing hits, whether that's uh, if you do allow a run, right. Holding guys in check, switching up rhythms. Don't get into too much of a, just a routine on the mound, Mm -hmm. Um, figure out a way to, to still keep the base runners kind of in check. Um, pitchers can control the base paths with, with just sw- simple switching up timing and, and not getting into a routine. And so, uh, that's things that kind of get overlooked at times. And you forget about as a, as a, pr- a pitcher on the bump when things aren't going well, because it can get lonely up there. It can get lonely on that round when you uh, feel like you can't get anything going. So Caleb Clark tonight, it kind of got a, kind of got to flush everything that's happened, kind of, you know, reassess and, and refocus. Um, and say, okay, what's what's going to be a positive outcome tonight? Tonight's going to be a similar midweek game that Nebraska's seen. Maybe uh, with the wind, uh, it's going to be coming at south to southwest. So if I, if my directions don't fool me, that should be blowing good. should be blowing in. Maybe blowing a little to left field, very little. So maybe the ball won't be flying a whole lot tonight. Nebraska's been able to manufacture runs earlier in the season. They did it against North Dakota State in a 3-1 game. They did it against Omaha that same week as well. Haven't been able to do it as well, maybe, against the Creighton Blue Jays two weeks ago um, in a bigger ballpark down out at TDM or Charles Schwab Field. Yeah. So let's hope that tonight Nebraska can can get the win, can get the win if, if they do play on a on a rainy, somewhat rainy, really windy Tuesday night. Hey, with it being a Tuesday, if you can get four potentially five if he's really if he's really humming uh, innings out of Clark. You can go to your bullpen and not really have to worry about, you know, tiring those guys out because it is a Tuesday game, and by the time the weekend series comes, those guys should be pretty mm-hmm. well rested up. So depending on how many innings he gives you, you'll be able to dip into that bullpen. And again, hopefully they're able to hold up their end of the bargain and Nebraska can get out of this with another midweek victory and tying the season series up with great, a, a good, Look, this is not a bad Creighton squad with a good Creighton squad. They are good. Creighton is good. And it's kind of crazy to think about. Creighton's good. The Big East um, is not good, but Creighton is good. Yeah, Creighton is 26 and 7. Nebraska 23 and 10. Good ball clubs coming tonight. Uh if the weather stays away, make your make your way out to the ballpark. The sun is out, but you can see the clouds, the dark clouds right yeah. over there. Yeah. Right yeah. over there. Stay away. Stay east. Stay east of Nebraska. Go away. Um so first pitch 602 p.m. tonight at Haymarket Park potentially the final game with no alcohol mm. at Haymarket Park for Husker games. Dun, dun, dun. Board of Regents vote on Friday, so we'll talk about that. Um, let's take a break. When we come back, we bring it's in Austin. Maker. We bring in Austin and Strick, and we uh, talk to them next. Download our app by searching 93.7 a ticket in your app store to stay in touch and listen all day long wherever you are. More of the happy hour is next on 93.7 the ticket and the ticketfm.com. Hi, I'm Senator Bo Ballard. I was born and raised in Lancaster County, learning the value of hard work and grit at a young age. I built my own company, creating jobs right here in our community. I know that families and businesses in our community need lower taxes, lower cost of health care, and a great education. That's why as your senator, I helped pass the largest tax cut and made the most significant investment in education in Nebraska history and worked to reduce the cost of health care. I'm Senator Bo Ballard, and I humbly ask for your vote on May 14th. Paid for by Ballard for Nebraska. You don't think about your roof very often, but you should never take it for granted. Roofing Service Company takes every measure to provide you with the highest quality roofing solution. Whether it's a new roof installation, roof repair, or a re-roofing project, their overall goal is to provide you with a pleasant experience and a long-lasting roof. If you have a need for siding or gutters, they're your place too. 
Visit roofingservicecompany.com for more info today. Problem gambling can destroy an individual's finances, relationships, physical, and mental health. If you or a loved one are struggling with addiction, contact Choices Treatment Center's 24-hour helpline at 402-476-2300. That's 402-476-2300. Here you go. Coffee's on me and my new BFF. I thought I was your best friend forever. BFF like best financial friend at Members Own Credit Union. Right now, they're offering $100 when you consolidate or transfer a loan or an existing credit card balance and meet requirements. Plus, you get great rates and free advice from a financial partner that will put you first. That sounds like a match made in heaven. Members Own Credit Union is the type of bestie you can count on. Get started today at membersownecu.org slash BFF. Limitations may apply. Equal housing opportunity. Houses? They're expensive. And once you buy one, you're kind of stuck with it for a while. You need to make sure you get your best house for the best price. You need Ben Bleicher and his team of pros at Professional Realty Group. They'll take the time to figure out what's important for you in your dream home, and they have the expertise to find the hidden issues that could surprise you after the sale. That's professional knowledge, proactive service. We call that potential. Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Service Ambassador. Find more online at prg-ne.com. 93.7 The Ticket is proud to provide listeners with daily opportunities to win contests and prizes on our airwaves, and we'd like to take this opportunity to remind you of a couple rules. All participants must be 21 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest. Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KNTK Studios, 1040 O Street in Lincoln, or your prize will be forfeited. Thank you for participating in our contest, and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. Hi everyone, Kendall Warnock, A1 Automotive in downtown Lincoln. Spring is here, summer is fast approaching. With weddings, vacations, and weekend getaways on your mind, do not let car issues prevent you from getting where you need to be. Car problems shouldn't be something that you put up with. Let us get you back on the road in comfort and safety. We diagnose all makes and models from Porsches to Hondas, Toyotas, and Chevrolets. We fix a variety of issues with all of them with our talented techs and our experienced staff. A1 Automotive at 11th and L, downtown Lincoln. Always honest answers. The dangers of secondhand smoke are well known. But what about secondhand aerosol, which is created when using e-cigarettes? Science already shows a secondhand aerosol can contain nicotine, heavy metals, and cancer-causing agents. Eliminating exposure to secondhand aerosol is an important step to keeping everyone safe. Breathe easier knowing the facts. For help quitting, call the Nebraska Tobacco Quit Line. 1-800-QUIT-NOW. 1-800-784-8669. Paid for by Tobacco Free Nebraska. Aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Spring sports are here and it's time to upgrade your equipment. But don't go rush into your big box store. Played Against Sports is your place to go for all spring sports equipment for baseball, softball, golf, and disc golf. Played Against Sports has quality, slightly to gently used equipment, and 50% of their inventory is actually new equipment. And don't forget, buying from them is a great way to get new products with great discounts by also bringing in your used items for store credit or cash on the spot. Played Against Sports at 48th and Vine. Lincoln, you wanted more sweet and spice in your life, and now you've got it. At Wings and Rings, their brand new hot honey has all of Lincoln buzzing. Try their one-of-a-kind house-made sauce on the brand new hot honey chicken sandwich or their hot honey shrimp and slaw. And of course you can get it on the traditional, boneless, or smoked wings that have made Wings and Rings your go-to neighborhood spot. Hot honey was supposed to be gone on April 1st, but they're extending it indefinitely. So stop by Wings and Rings at one of their two Lincoln locations today on O Street and on Village Lane. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. Hi, schoolers. Unleash your creativity and learn about potential careers in broadcasting at the Digital Expressions Media Camp. Have fun, make friends, and get hands-on experience with video and radio production June 9th through the 14th at the University of Nebraska at Kearney. Scholarships are available from the Nebraska Broadcasters Association, and spots are limited. Learn more at digitalexpressionscamp.com. That's digitalexpressionscamp.com. 
This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM Firth. 93.7 The Ticket. Here you go. Coffee's on me and my new BFF. I thought I was your best friend forever. BFF like best financial friend at Members Own Credit Union. Right now, they're offering $100 when you consolidate or transfer a loan or an existing credit card balance and meet requirements. Plus, you get great rates and free advice from a financial partner that will put you first. That sounds like a match made in heaven. Members Own Credit Union is the type of bestie you can count on. Get started today at memberszonecu.org slash BFF. Limitations may apply. Equal housing opportunity. 93.7 The Ticket is proud to provide listeners with daily opportunities to win contests and prizes on our airwaves. And we'd like to take this opportunity to remind you of a couple rules. All participants must be 21 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest. Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KNTK Studios, 1040 O Street in Lincoln, or your prize will be forfeited. Thank you for participating in our contest, and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. Hey, Husker Nation, Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan, and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics, and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student athletes. So go to 1890nebraska.com, choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red. You're listening to The Happy Hour with Nick Sainert. I vomited last night. And Enrique alvarez Clary. I literally <laughs> vomited. I threw up. On 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Well, welcome back into the happy hour, folks, as we close out the show on a Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday. We bring in Eric Strickland and Austin Orman. Gentlemen. Toss it back Tuesday. What's up? Wow. That's how I feel right now after the commercial. <laughs> Extra happy hour. Good golly, Miss Molly. <laughs> anyway. There's a bunch of crazy in here. <laughs> anyway, uh, how was the day, guys? Great. Good. Fantastic. Anything exciting? I was getting happened? a little worried. I didn't go. hear Stricky wasn't coming in. I knew his business to handle, but yeah. uh, we were 10 minutes till showtime, and I didn't see you, Stricky, so I'm Dress, glad you made it. Dressed yeah, well man. today. Yeah, yeah. I knew you were too. coming. But... That too. Uh, met with a nice group. Um, met with a nice group today. Out, Good. Out uh, over by our one of our favorite spots. Ah, by Capitol. I like, I like That is one of yeah. our favorite spots. There was an organization out there that we got an opportunity to meet with, Angels. Um yeah. Angel Reese? No. <laughs> she got drafted seventh. Uh, seven. Seventh so overall. So, solid with her. Did anyone else know that Cameron Brink was a godchild of the Curry family? Yes. I had I no idea. I did not. Huh. But, yeah. she, like, okay, can I can I ask a question that I truly don't know? Like, we, I have godparents. Yes. I don't, ref, like, refer to them as, like, my godparents. That's fine. Is that, is that, is that, is that, is that a normal thing? Like she, she straight up was like, yeah, this is my God mama. It's like, she's sitting over here and it was curry. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, I don't reference my godparents as my godparents. When I'm you would if they were the curries. Well, <laughs> I, I feel like that. it's different if they're in your family or not in your family. Because yeah. like for me, it's my gotcha. aunt and uncle. That's, so they're just, okay. it's just my you know, aunt uncle Myron, yeah. you know, but he's also my, my godparent. So I'm not going to say, hey, it's my, it's, it's my uncle who's also this. But if it's outside of the family and that's their only relation Maybe to that's you, my point. Yeah. Okay, that, that, that makes sense. Yeah. I'm, I'm not saying it's like good way, good thing one way or the other. I don't really, I mean, it's It'd fine. It'd just be like, you, you, just you do like, you. oh, it's a family friend. Also, my yeah. godparent. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But also, cool. like, if my god mom and dad were the Currys, I would say, yeah, that's my, yeah, that's my god brother, Steph Curry, because that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Which I'm just like, yeah, there's a picture of like that's young Cameron Brink and like Steph Curry, and I'm just like, all right. That's one yeah, of those. Okay. That's one of those where it's like, yeah, my, it's my godbrother Steph Curry. Yeah, that's my that's my brother Steph Curry. Yeah, they're just like, that's my brother. <laughs> just, like, just forget my forget the, like, forget the god part. Wait, wait, <laughs> this is my brother Steph Curry. Do you shoot like Steph? Curry? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because he's yeah. my brother. We we spent a lot of time there in the gym. Go. Um, I, I did. I, I mean, Rico and I were talking about this. We found ourselves, maybe not. I don't want to speak for Rico. I, I found myself much more okay. NBA or WNBA draft. It starts at this time. 
I need to, I want to be watching it at this time. I found myself much more invested in it, which then I think, I think America saw themselves much more invested in it shows the growth of the sport, I think, but also when you, and I think it shows the future of the sport to where if ESPN and ABC or Fox sports, whatever it is, invests more into women's college basketball and maybe not gets the results in the future. Realistically. So that they did this year with Caitlin Clark. Cause now that she's out of college basketball, there's a lot of really good athletes, obviously, but it's, we're going to know more about the players in the WNBA, which is good for it's, it's a full circle thing mm-hmm. because then it's, we knew much more of the top 20 picks because Women's college basketball was highlighted a lot more this season than it has been in, in years past. Mm-hmm. I think that plays a bigger part than people realize in it. I think what's interesting to me is where people go. Yep. Like, like, so for example, um, people speculate that there's funny business sometimes when you deal with some of these balls, like Spurs ending up with the, the frozen the, envelope the, for Patrick Ewing, you know, Rico. I mean, they they speculate about that, that stuff, right? Completely but, normal. I, 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 you, you look at some of the picks and you like, for example, let's just, let's just be honest. Could you see Caitlin Clark playing for the New York Liberty? Wouldn't that be fun though? I mean, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> yeah, I'm just but saying, were, wouldn't that not, be insane? Like, they were like bad you can enough see, to get the number one pick. What I'm, what, what I mean by that is, well, what I mean by this yeah, is it, that, keep going, yeah, is, fine. for example, Caitlin Clark goes there and then like Angel Reese goes to Chicago. Mm-hmm. Like, you mm-hmm. you you can kind of see that, right? Like you couldn't see Angel Reese going to Indiana. No, I, you know I, I, mean? I think a lot of it. You can see her going to yeah. maybe the Aces. You can maybe see her going to personality LA. plays a big yes. part. Yes, yeah, it's it, personality, it does. Right? I think it does. I mm-hmm. think it. I think it encapsulates the city to where they're going. Yeah, I think it, there's 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 pieces to it. I well, think that goes beyond. It's it's so fascinating because uh, I mean, yeah. Rico's made the point multiple times throughout various shows today about how many players didn't make their respective teams last year. That were picked in the first round. And it's like, it's one of those things where, um, what is the, what is the noise? Do you guys hear the, the of somebody talking? I don't know. Not mine. Anyway. Nope. Um, I, okay. I did for a second though. Okay. Yeah. Did are you, you going, hear that yeah. too? Are you going crazy? I, I may be. Um, uh, <laughs> none. <laughs> Freaking Nick. <laughs> none He's a wild boy. <laughs> nonetheless. This I think, I mean, to Strick's point, I agree. I, it's like, you, Man, wouldn't Sabrina and Caitlin Clark be fun to watch together? Yeah. Gosh. I mean, you think about it. But, New York Liberty would run away at the same time. They're going to be going against each other, you know, hopefully in the, once the playoffs hit. Obviously in the regular season. But super team in the WNBA. Playoffs, this, once the playoffs hit. There's already two super teams, New York and, mm-hmm. and Vegas. To, yeah. to, to both of your points, I'm going to be curious to see if the marketing factor starts playing into some of these roster decisions, right? Because of how many draft picks have gotten cut from the WNBA, like in recent history. Mm-hmm. I wonder if the growth of the college game and these these young ladies being marketable like in college yeah. and then going to the WNBA, will more teams keep their first round draft pick on the roster just for marketing reasons? Hey, mm. we drafted them. You know, in the NBA, maybe some of them get sent down to the G League. But if you're going in the lottery, you're basically a lock to be on the NBA team. Now, not really getting marketed, but I wonder if there's a chance for the W to, to capitalize on a Caitlin Clark or an Angel Reese, their popularity already, yeah. where... You know, even if, you know, they're not one of the 12 best, maybe they're they're made to be the 12th best just to be on the team and say, hey, here's the future. It's coming. I, I also think the WNBA did a really good job, and, and they do this every single year, where the draft is is very, very quick after the season ends. You don't allow that. That doesn't give the, <laughs> the, the, the sport time to die down on its momentum. No, they don't yeah. have a combine. They don't. No. no. Although, they, they, do, it, although I, I understand. they need to extend from when the draft is to the start of the season because they're turning around, getting drafted, and playing. getting introduced mm-hmm. to their cities, and immediately, immediately going, going into training camp. Yeah. And mm-hmm. some of those players will be cut in the next two weeks. Yeah. yeah. So my, here's, here's the thing I have. What is there? 10 teams? 12. 12. 12 teams. Going to be more next year. Yeah. So, so here's the thing, though. You have three rounds with 12 teams. Yeah. 12 roster spots. Right. Mm-hmm. So... There's a, there's already people that are there. I I think three rounds is too much. I understand that they want to kind of get them into the system, but but the, here's the thing: 
it's still competition. I think it yeah. creates more competition by doing it that way because I think maybe some third rounders, some second rounders, just because of your perception of what they have a possibility to usurp some people at the higher level. I think, I think outside of the teams, right? The powerhouses, the mm -hmm. Yukons, the South Carolina, outside of the teams, I think players at the top level, wherever their school is, they just don't have as many players mm -hmm. to amass to compete against some of the powerhouse teams. So therefore, but I still think there's more parity yeah. when you're talking at the top. So yeah. this is why I think a, a lower second round person or a third round person, just because of the team that you may have been on, mm -hmm. you may not have gotten the same type of, you know, Public recognition. recognition. And therefore, this yeah. is why sometimes first rounders just don't make it because outside of the team, they're just still competitive with other people. I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. It's just something yeah. that I'm kind of mm -hmm. thinking. No, you're right. I you mean, can the say the same thing about NBA, NBA too. Yeah. I mean, the fact that there's only 12 yeah. teams and 12 roster spots and the salary cap is the way that it is, they have to make some cuts if they want to sign some of those bigger name players. I was telling Nick earlier that the Aces with their, you know, three superstars, four superstars don't even carry 12 people on their roster because they're hitting that salary cap mark. So it's going to be interesting to see what players that they drafted that end up staying on the on their roster. Yeah. And, and that's just going to be the same with all these teams. I mean, the New York Liberty with Sabrina Ionescu and Brianna Stewart, like those two are taking up a massive amount of the salary cap. I don't even know if they're going to have 12 players on their roster. Well, the draft for them is definitely the draft for them were fillers for yeah. teams like the Aces. Yes. So they're not drafting for starters, starters or name recognition or they're drafting for filler. So they're probably, they'll probably keep people on their lower end where they probably don't if, have to pay as yeah, much if they, if, if they're they can, able to meet salary cap yeah. uh, needs. I, I'm sure you guys will talk about this on the show. Um, we talked about Omar Ballo uh, going to Indiana about Venmos and all that from Indiana fans. D Jeff Goodman. Oh, I think I just saw this. Just posted this. And I'll, I'll let you guys mm -hmm. kind of discuss it on, on, on the block so you guys can go really in depth on it. Um, Indiana landed Arizona transfer Omar Ballo. He was told by multiple coaches that the asking price for Ballo, one point two million for the seven foot one center Whew. out of Arizona. One point two million was the asking price for Stricky Omar Big Mad. <laughs> Stricky Big Mad. You oh, bad. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> We're gonna give Stricky hey, a chance hey, to born too early, right? <laughs> We gonna, too we, early. We're gonna give too early. We're gonna give Stricky a chance to decompress and uh, get his <laughs> thoughts together. Uh, what's coming up on the show today, gentlemen? Yeah, we will obviously talk about that. Um, Nebraska men's basketball added Raleigh Worcester yeah, yesterday. We'll I get like into him. that. A um, couple transfer portal entries for Husker football and some comments from Matt Rule today. Why haven't we updated our list of blue bloods in college sports? They've been the same since the '80s. You know, do we need to look into updating that? And then uh, Team USA, 11 out of the 12 men's basketball. Uh, Olympic roster spots are filled. Who's gotcha. player number 12? There it is. All right, all that more coming up on the block. It's Rico, by the way. Oh, Rico's the 12th. I'll be back later. Right. <laughs> the Muggsy Bogues as, of the USA as, team. As Mike Bibby. <laughs> uh, Defense will be. Uh, all right, we are we are out of here. Uh, appreciate you guys hanging out. Steve Mark of Inside Nebraska will join us tomorrow to talk a little spring ball on the block. Coming up next. Adios. Rosie Sports Bar and Grill. Open for lunch and dinner at 1501 Center Park Road. Here you go. Coffee's on me and my new BFF. I thought I was your best friend forever. BFF like best financial friend at Members Own Credit Union. Right now, they're offering $100 when you consolidate or transfer a loan or an existing credit card balance and meet requirements. Plus, you get great rates and free advice from a financial partner that will put you first. That sounds like a match made in heaven. Members Own Credit Union is the type of bestie you can count on. Get started today at memberszonecu.org slash BFF. Limitations may apply. Equal housing opportunity. 93.7 The Ticket is proud to provide listeners with daily opportunities to win contests and prizes on our airways, and would like to take this opportunity to remind you of a couple rules. All participants must be 21 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest. Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KNTK Studios, 1040 O Street in Lincoln, or your prize will be forfeited. Thank you for participating in our contest, and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. Hey Husker Nation, Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. 
NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct